Hello. I have just finished making a little tiny hat and I thought it would be a good time to show you how to take a hat off the needles and then how to weave in the loose ends. So I've gotten all of my decreases finished and I've knit up to the point where my pattern asks me to draw the yarn tightly through the remaining eight stitches with a tapestry needle. So in order to do that, we'll need to turn our work as if we're going to knit another row, even though we are not. So for the magic loop, you scoot that needle on down. This works with double point needles too. Any time you're working in the round like this, but you're not going to knit now. What you'll do is at this point, clip your yarn away from the ball. I need to leave a tail that's about eight inches. So that is what I'll do. And then we take that tail and we put it onto our darning needle. You slip it through the eye of the needle there. And we are going to slip the knit stitches off onto the darning needle and then onto this piece of yarn. So we'll insert the needle into that next stitch. That would be the first stitch and what would be the next round if you were going to keep knitting. And you insert it as if you're going to purl it. So from the back to the front of the front leg and then you just scoot it off and slip it onto that darning needle. And you do that with every stitch on the needles. And pull that needle through as it starts to get full of stitches. And you see the stitches that were on the needle are now on this bit of yarn tail. So now, since we're doing the magic loop here, we'll turn our work and we'll scoot the needle through. If you're doing double point needles, you don't need to turn it. Just slip all the stitches off from every needle onto that bit of yarn. Okay, bring that down to the tip of the needle and bring in your tapestry needle, your darning needle, and slip those stitches all off again onto that darning needle so you can thread them onto that tail of the yarn. As you come to the end, your needles will be free. You can set them aside and then carefully slide those stitches onto the yarn. And as you pull it through, it anchors all of those stitches so they don't run they're all tied together in a little circle. Once you've gotten them off the needles, it will look like this. And you'll keep that darning needle here on top. Don't take it off just yet because we can go ahead and weave in that end now. So what you'll do for that is open up your little hat a little bit and we're going to bring this tail to the inside of the hat where we will anchor it in a little bit more tightly. So take it through the very center of the loop there, go to the underside and bring it through, turning that hat inside out. Stretch it just a little bit to ensure that everything is looped through properly and none of the stitches are um, going to run. And then what we'll do is draw that yarn one more time halfway through those stitches. So going in a counterclockwise direction, just loop that darning needle through the stitches around the circle in the middle. So right here and just through a few of them, I'm going to do about four and pull it through, 
careful not to let that tail slip through the eye of the darning needle or you'll have to thread it again. And now you've got it nice and tightly anchored. Let's check the other side just to make sure it looks how it ought to. And it pulls that circle at the top closed when you draw that through really, really tightly. So now that we've done that, I'm going to take this little tail off the darning needle and I'm going to split it. I'll split the plies. This is a four ply yarn, so I'll split two on each side. And straighten it out. And then two of those plies will go back on my darning needle. We'll go back to the little circle at the top of the work, right there. And in the same direction that we were threading it before, take just the half string and loop it through all of the stitches around that tight circle middle It'll bring it tighter and tighter and bring it right back around in a circle to meet the other half of the tail. And then pull that off the darning needle. And here is where I tie a knot. Some knitters may disagree with this but this is how I end a hat, so I will show you how I do it. So we'll take that string that's been split and put it in two opposite directions. And then with our hands, we're gonna pick up the opposite side. So opposite sides, and then we'll cross, bringing it over, under and through, and then pulling a little knot, pull that, pretty tight, as tight as you can without snapping the strings. If you pull too tight, sometimes those little strings can break. So tighten it as much as you can and then set them back down. And then we're going to switch hands, again, grabbing the string opposite of our hand. And again, cross over and then from the back and through and pull it as tightly as you can. After that second knot, check and see if it's going to slip on you. Pull one end, make sure the knot's not slipping. The other end, make sure the knot's not slipping. If it's tight like that, you can go ahead and clip those ends. If it slips a little bit, make one more knot in the same way. So this one doesn't slip off, so I will go ahead and trim it as closely as I can to the knot without clipping the knot. Set that aside. The other bit. And set that aside. And if you stretch it a bit, that tiny little knot you made slides into the top circle here. So you can't even see it. Turn the hat right side out and check it out on the other side. And that tiny little, tiny little knot goes away and you don't usually have any problems with the tails coming loose. Now that we've closed the top though, we can also weave in this little end at the bottom. And the way I do this sort of closes the round or finishes the round out smoothly. If you look closely, where we cast on, we have a little knot. That was our very first cast on stitch, our slip knot. And then this is where that round ended. So there's a little jog there. We can close that up with our tail by sewing it in. So let me show you how I do that. I will put that on the darning needle as I did and then bring it right behind that slip knot where you should see sort of a little pearl nodule from your cast on. 
Put your needle through there. And sew the yarn through. It gives you a little straight edge here. And go back to the side where it came through. And we're going to follow along in a little duplicate stitch and make a little U here. So through this bit right here. It's a little tricky to get through, just be patient. And that was the knot off that original slip knot, which is why it's a little more difficult to put the needle through. But once you do, it pulls the slip knot behind the work and hides it. Next, go up through the other little pearl nub. And that will smooth the back side out a bit and come around to the front. It's still not completely perfect. So what I do is bring this darning needle through and under the edge here that isn't exactly like the others to make one more little straight edge. We'll fold it over just like that and then tuck it in behind. There's our slip knot nub. Right next to that, you can tuck the darning needle through. And it straightens out the edge of your hat. And you can almost not see the beginning and the end of the round at all. So we go to the back side once that's all straightened out and we'll start to tie that in. So there's a little nub you can go under. One more. And now I'm gonna take the tail off the darning needle and split the plies to do my knot. So two on each side and put half of them on your needle. And then this will just anchor it to that stitch we went through. There's the tail. So wrap it right around the same stitch and bring it right back through where it came out in the first place, just so we can tie a knot onto that stitch and the knot will hide itself when we stretch the hat. Take that piece off the darning needle and set the darning needle aside and split those yarns in opposite directions. And we'll tie another knot like we did for the top of the hat. So opposite hands, grab opposite strings, and bring them across, over, under, through, and pull, but not too tightly here. If you pull too tightly, it will mess up your pattern. So just enough so it tucks up right next to the little stitch. And then lay those strands out again and switch hands. Grabbing opposite strings, bring it around. Tie that knot in an opposite direction. This one you need to pull pretty tight. If it slips, stop pulling. If you can pull as tightly as you can, without snapping the strings, then you can cut the yarn tail at this point. If it's slipping and it um, doesn't feel very secure, tie one more knot. This one's pretty tight, so I'll clip it off. And get it as close to the knot as you can without clipping the knot. and then stretch it a little to test it. Make sure it doesn't come loose, so run. And when you stretch it, the little knots hide themselves pretty well. I hope you found that helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful day.